Flamingos down in Mexico got quite the shock last week when they were blown from their usual homes all the way to the Tampa Bay area. It's been quite a sight to see here for people who usually only see flamingos in zoos and parks. And one in particular needed a little help after that whirlwind trip. Eight on your side's Trevor Sahaki is live for us in Indian Shores to tell us all about peaches. <laughs> Stacy Keith, that's right. Peaches the flamingo is currently resting and recovering in this bird sanctuary right behind me. It is one of many flamingos that got swept up here during the hurricane and might have died if it wasn't for some boaters out on the Gulf of Mexico last week. You could tell that she was um, distressed. And you would be too if you were blown from your home in Mexico up to the Tampa Bay area during Hurricane Adalia. As we came up on the bird, it did try to fly, which is when we knew that it could not say, you know, could not save itself. It would not be able to swim out. So when Madera Beach City Commissioner Anne Marie Brooks and a group surveying the hurricane's damage saw the flamingo in the Gulf of Mexico, they scooped it up. Having the opportunity to assist in rescuing any animal, it's very exhilarating and it's fun to be a part of. Brooks and the others named the bird Peaches. It's now at Seaside Seabird Sanctuary in Indian Shores. <laughs> Thankfully, as of now, he's eating on his own. His activity levels have increased really nicely, so all really good progress towards release. Melissa Edwards is the sanctuary's avian hospital director. She said the flamingos in the region could be here for a while. Um, it's unclear how long they're going to be in our area. It could be, you know, quite a few months. It could be, you know, next day they could decide they want to turn around and go home. So really unsure at this point. But she said the flamingos spotted as far north as Ohio will probably migrate back south sooner. Um, but in those cases, really just need to let give that bird the time to figure it out and they know where to go. They'll start heading back to where they need to. As for peaches, it should be released into the wild within a week. And Commissioner Brooks tells me that she plans on visiting the bird tomorrow, which will be her first time seeing it since she rescued it last week. Stacy. Well, Trevor, we've seen so many flamingos around lately. What would make them stick around longer? Well, I'm told that it's food. If there's enough food around here and if the environment is good enough for them, then I'm told we could be seeing a lot of flamingos around here a lot longer than we might expect. Stacy? All right. Interesting. Thanks, Trevor Sahaki, live in Indian Shores. Thanks.